we converted the time, added productivity, and added a scrolling UI thingy in this devlog. Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 41 of A Tales Pro. I'm making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon and management game where you try to save as many lives as possible. Stick around till the end of the video to see everything done this week. Now, Commander, are we ready? Yes, sir. Let's have some fun. This week, of course, I kept working on the research manager. I fixed it so that whenever you disable the UI, the upgrades still go through. So actually, thank you to Daniel Lochner for that. Uh, he said instead of disabling the actual objects, just disable the canvas, uh, which worked. It, it did, did the trick. Um, so thank you for that, Daniel. I also just fixed some general bugs with the research manager, just stuff happening when it shouldn't and not happening when it should. Um, but I didn't do a whole lot in it. It was kind of just more polishing. But I did add a time conversion, so now it actually displays how much time in months and days it takes to complete research rather than seconds, which really makes the game feel a little bit more cohesive um, and just makes more sense in terms of the, the game time. Oh, so that's, that's pretty cool that I got that. I also added a productivity variable, so now every time you have a worker, they have their individual productivity amount. And right now it's just randomly generated from 0 to 100, um, and ironically it seems like um, most times it's on the lower end for whatever reason, um, but it's just a random thing. And for the office workers, the more productive they are, the faster they will save lives. Um, so it's currently paying a small part, uh, but it's not. that's not how the final implementation is going to be. But I started adding it and I'm going to start trying to adapt it to other workers as well. I also added a form of competition and an opponent. So now there is on the UI, you will see the enemy live saved. So over time, there will be an enemy or a, comp a competitor um, who's trying to save lives as well as you to kind of serve as motivation to, to save lives quicker. Um, again, that is also very basic. It basically just you set a time that it will complete 100 lives and it will increment over time. Um, and I'm definitely experimenting with the balance of it because right now it's not very balanced. Um, but that's that's at least the start of it's there and at least I'm getting the start of like a game over kind of thing where you can actually complete or fail the game, uh, which is which is a really good start for now, especially with uh, the demo coming up sooner than I'd like to like to think. I'm gonna win. No, no I am. am. Okay, guys, it's okay. It's a, it's a friendly competition. <laughs> so like I said, it's not balanced and it's very basic, uh, but it is cool to have something that you're trying to, I guess more of an objective rather than just kind of freeform. Um, at least for this type of game, I think it's better to have something objective. Um, like in Theme Hotel, they have star system, uh, which I really like. So this is kind of similar. I think it will drive the player to, to I guess, save lives faster, this is, this is the goal. I also kept experimenting with the UI with different icons, adding effects. Um, I also added a, uh, for the upgrades uh, and the research UI, I added a, uh, a scroll rack, so you can actually scroll down and see more upgrades so I can easily add them instead of just having a static image, which will be really helpful in the future when I want to add more upgrades. I added that and just generally experimenting with the UI. Um, I'm still obviously experimenting. I'm not too sure on things, but messing around with it is always fun to me and um, just seeing stuff that works and doesn't, that's kind of it's kind of cool and just over time if I keep iterating on it, it'll just keep getting better. I also just want to throw in that I. Uh, Feel like I fixed a good amount of bugs. Um, I am on my Trello page. I'm keeping track of bugs actually this time in this game, which has been honestly insanely helpful. Um, that after I finish development on one day, I'll just make a note of something that I think could be improved or polished, and the next day or whenever in the future I go back and fix it. That has been insanely helpful um, and just helping the general overall polish of the game. So I'm glad I'm doing that. And I would highly recommend other people to keep track of the bugs, although it kind of seems obvious. Uh, sometimes you kind of get caught up, uh, but I think it's really been helpful. Hey Garrett, how's the training been? Not bad. Um, I'm continuing to work on the combos. I'm also trying to get more comfortable with my back handspring and eventual B twist. Um, I tried experimenting with the illusion twist earlier in the week, but that's a lot harder than I thought. Um, it actually might be harder than the B twist, ironically, but we're just going to keep going. Keep I don't know what that was. That felt kind of cool. Here's the development timeline of the game. 
thus far, I've spent 205 minutes on art, 830 minutes on programming, and 35 minutes on animation. And here's a timeline of where the development is going in the upcoming month. For my next steps, I want to continue working with the productivity variable to actually not have it just be random and actually play more of a part in the dynamic of the game. And I also want to start adding this to other workers. I'm, I'm still trying to see how I'm supposed to add it to the research um, manager, like with the researchers, uh, because their mechanics, at least how I coded it, is a little bit different, where it's time based and it's set. So I'll have to experiment with that. But I want to keep working on that back. And also, I want to some, add some other functionality. I'm thinking either marketing or just marketing uh, or the market share rather um, which is sort of like another variable mechanic like productivity i want to add something else because at least right now the marketers do nothing so i'd probably at least like to get started with them doing something um, but i'm honestly not too sure we're just going to try to add something else you, you don't need, need to add features you already have me okay boomer So this week I also did a special thing. I went to uh, Philly Game Mechanics, which is basically a local meetup group uh, in the Philadelphia area uh, where a bunch of game devs come um, and meet. And it was it was great. Like there were some really nice and awesome people there. And I also gave a talk on uh, on devlogs. Uh, basically, my talk was titled Seven Reasons Why I Love Making Devlogs." Um, as soon as the video is up for that, I'm gonna see if I can share that to you guys. Um, I'm probably gonna do a written format of it as well. So that's really cool. Be on the lookout for something like that. Um, and yeah, just a great time interacting with some other other game devs in, in real life. Um, although I love interacting with you guys over the internet, um, it's also great to, to meet some uh, people face to face. So my question for this week is how do you design and, and plan UI? I really, I don't think I've really ever fully planned out UI for any of my games. And for this, I'm kind of just trying stuff and then if it, if I like it, then I'll keep it. If I don't, then I don't. Uh, but I want to know like how your process goes, like how your process works. Like, do you just design a lot on, on pen and paper? Do you just try stuff out? Do you reference other images or other games? Like, what's the process of that? Because I'm, I, I think I need to look at it into it more myself. But I want to hear what uh, what best practices you guys have. Thank you all for watching this devlog. Uh, I really appreciate every single one of you and sticking with the theme of the game. I just want to offer this opportunity to reach out and say that if anyone needs any help or anything or just wants to talk, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. It's not a bother at all. I'd love to talk to any and all of you guys. Um, but I also want to make sure that you guys are okay. So at least I want to open this opportunity up. Um, I have a link to my Discord friend request and also to my Instagram DMs. Uh, Discord's probably a better place, but no matter what, if you get in contact with me, please come talk. I'm certainly here to help. And on that, I love every single one of you and I will see you in the next devil.